But what if, just what if, going through our oceans is the way we get to space? Like, under the deep, deep oceans actually is the portal to space. And there's so many things that, like, have happened that make this theory possible. Did you remember when um, there was the rainfall of all that gooey stuff? And they said that they thought literally that jellyfish were raining from the sky and you can look this stuff up it's crazy it would make sense the jellyfish rain from the sky if outer space was an ocean in the early parts of the morning a downpour of a gelatinous blobs had started to occur the blobs were translucent in nature and not that large measuring in at about half the size of a grain of rice while the first downpour took place at around 3 a.m. on August 7th, it was reported that this had occurred over about 20 square miles over the course of three weeks at various times. As time would pass, many of the residents who were exposed to this type of bizarre rain had become violently ill. Brought a sample and asked if the doctor there was willing to do a test on it. And while it appears that all they did was look under a microscope, this is where a human white blood cell was supposedly found. After finding the human white blood cell, this prompted the doctor there to come up with a theory. Perhaps the blobs were liquid waste droppings from a passing airplane. However, sometime after, the FAA was contacted about this idea and they stated that the fluid waste from commercial planes was always dyed blue and the blobs were translucent. So this didn't make any sense. Found inside of the blobs were number one white blood cells like we said, cells with no nuclei, which you can think of as bacteria or archaea. Then the other two bacteria that were observed by Mike were the two biocontrol agent bacteria, both of which are very common in controlling plant diseases. Not only that, we usually have a dome over us protecting us from the water that is above us, which makes sense when you look at this video of this little rocket hitting the so-called dome. <laughs> There's also so many other things that are just crazy to think about when you start thinking about this theory, like how spacesuits look like underwater suits and how we see a lot of times UFOs looking like they're going underwater. Maybe that's because that's how they get into space. You know, who knows? You know the Van Allen belts that are around the Earth? A lot of other planets have that radiation belt around it too. Well, radiation isn't very good underwater, so maybe the reason the belt is circling is because it's hitting a like dome or a dome of water or something and circling back in on itself, causing the belt. And if you look at a picture like this, imagine the parts that don't have much like sheol or whatever it's called or dirt or that brown stuff or whatever imagine them parts right there that are super thinned out and almost look like little holes what if that's where the bermuda and the dragon triangle or whatever it's called are located what if that's why things go like vanishing and disappearing because they get into them little cracks and crevices right there and they get sucked into the outer space that is around earth or maybe it's just little miniature black holes in the water that are sucking people into the outer space. I don't know. I just thought of this stuff last night, literally, just out of the blue. And I'm trying to figure out things that, like, might make it true or not true, blah, 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 blah. And I just thought I'd make a quick video talking about it. I really know nothing about this. What do you guys think?